Good morning, everybody. My name is Dan Polo, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading, continuing from John chapter 6, verse 1 through 15. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test them, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of the disciples, one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but where are they among so many people. Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there is a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. And that is our reading today in John. If you will, please join me for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you for looking beyond our faults and for loving us unconditionally. Forgive us when we fail to love others in the same way. Give us eyes to see the needs of the difficult people in our lives and show us how to meet those needs in a way that pleases you. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a good Wednesday today.